Devin Booker did not hold back while giving his opinion on the whole Patrick Beverly DeAndra Ayton fiasco earlier this season. Well, it turns out he might be a huge hypocrite. A few sneaky fans have dug around and brought up the moment Devin himself shoved Dennis Schroeder in the back. Keep watching today's video to see how everything played out. First, let's talk about Devin Booker's response to Patrick Beverly pushing DeAndra Ayton. Devin Booker was furious when Patrick Beverly shoved DeAndra Ayton in the back during a recent Phoenix Suns Los Angeles. Lakers game. Now, if you live under a rock, the controversial guard lost his cool earlier this season and pushed the big man so hard that he fell to the floor. While Bev was booted from the game because of his unprofessional conduct, that didn't stop some of the biggest names in the NBA from calling him out, and rightfully so. What Beverly did is completely inexcusable, and he should be reprimanded for that. NBA legend Charles Barkley warned him about mixing with the wrong people and getting hurt as a result, while Russell Westbrook claimed that he understood the 34-year-old forward's reaction considering Ayton's behavior. Devin Booker, on the other hand, was a little more critical of Pat's actions. Shortly after the incident, the Suns' shooting guard chimed in and called Beverly out for shoving people in the back. Dennis also had a little bit of advice for Bev as he told him that he should do things in front of people and not when they aren't paying attention. He said Pat needs to stop pushing people on the back, man. Push them in the chest. Now, this would have been fine if Booker hadn't done the same thing himself. Devin's comments seem to have struck a chord with Lakers fans, and one of them recently called out Booker for doing something similar to a Lakers player in the past. And this honestly doesn't come as a surprise. Book has been criticized for a number of reasons, and this is just another entry on the list. One Twitter user uploaded a video of Booker shoving Dennis Schroeder during the NBA playoffs in 2021. Now, if you've forgotten, this was the first round of the playoffs that year. The Lakers were going up against the Phoenix Suns in Game 3 of their six-game series. Dennis was on his way to the basket when Booker shoved him, leading him to fall flat on the floor. So, it seems like Book only opposes cheap shots when it's against his own teammates or he's not the one landing them. Let's just hope this serves as a learning lesson for Booker and doesn't do anything like this again. Now, if you thought Dennis and Pat's actions were bad, wait till you see what we've got lined up next. Let's talk about some of the dirtiest NBA players ever to play in the league. Dirty players come in all shapes and sizes in the NBA. You see, there's obvious dirty, then there's subtle dirty. You've got hard hitters and trash talkers. Some players wear the label loud and proud, while others take great offense at it. And we're going to try to cover all bases, starting with Kobe Bryant. Believe us when we say this, we don't mean any disrespect. In fact, we think it's commendable how good Bryant was at playing dirty. And sure, he might have softened up in his old age. But that doesn't mean the things he did earlier in his career never happened. Bryant was a textbook example of a sneaky, dirty player. Despite his questionable tactics, Kobe's foul rate never reflected how dirty, and that's mainly because he got away with most of what he did. Kobe fans will argue that it was just a coincidence, but we find that a little hard to swallow. You see, Bryant's entire legacy is built upon the control he had on his body. He developed every muscle movement and perfected every part of the game by a hard work and repetition. Do you honestly believe he didn't know what he was doing when he hit someone in the face with the follow-through on his jump shot or elbowed someone in the throat while trying to make room? Yeah, that's what we thought. Moving on to Carl Malone. Carl Malone is unquestionably one of the best NBA players of all time. He spent his entire 18-year NBA career with the Utah Jazz. Malone became one of the NBA's most formidable duos with John Stockton. Carl was a 14-time All-Star in addition to being awarded the NBA's most valuable player on two occasions. Carl Malone, as an efficient scorer and strong defender was frequently involved in dirty plays. Now, despite being an absolute unit, Malone really only had one lethal weapon in his arsenal, his elbow. During a regular NBA season with the Detroit Pistons in 1991, Carl Malone ended up elbowing Isaiah Thomas in the head, resulting in Thomas requiring more than 40 stitches. Oh, and he also kicked Tim Duncan square in the face one time. Carl Malone claimed that the heat was unintentional, but Bill Lambeer did not buy the story and eventually got his revenge by clubbing the big man in the face. 
Coming up, Dennis Rodman. Dennis is well known for his exceptional defensive and rebounding abilities. He began his NBA career as a small forward before transitioning to power forward. Rodman was not only named to the All-NBA Defensive Team at the height of his NBA career, but he was also awarded NBA Defensive Player of the Year twice. Now, despite being such an excellent defender, Dennis Rodman on occasion did let his emotions get the best of him. As a member of the NBA's self-proclaimed bad boys, the Detroit Pistons Dennis Rodman frequently adopted the team's favorite style of play, which involves stopping the opponent at all costs. And by all costs, we really do mean all costs. Next, let's talk about Reggie Evans. Want to know Reggie Evans' favorite ballet? Well, it's the Nutcracker, of course. You see, there are things that exceed the realm of the dirty. They're so bad that if the other man turns around and breaks your jaw in retaliation, it shouldn't even count as a foul. And we believe Reggie reaching inside Chris Kaman's nether regions and trying to pull out the family jewels certainly qualifies. It really still baffles us why he did it. How did he even think of doing something like this? Was it a spur-of-the-moment decision, or did Evans think it through? We're inclined to believe the latter. You don't just randomly try to pull out another man's pearls. Let's not forget about Isaiah Thomas. Isaiah Thomas was a 12-time All-Star and a notable player in the 1980s and early 1990s. He was actually the driving force and the brain behind the infamous bad boys of the NBA, his beloved Detroit Pistons, who were one of the most dominant teams from 1984 to 1992. We believe the Pistons would not have gotten their bad reputation without Thomas, despite his good looks and wide smile, Isaiah was nothing more than a reckless brawler. And honestly, it's kind of unfortunate that he played that way because he was actually very talented and his rough and tumble style only hurt his chances in the league. Next up, Dennis Rodman. Dennis Rodman, more than any other player in NBA history, is inducted into the Hall of Fame almost entirely for two reasons, defense and rebounding. And you can't do those things as well as you did unless you're willing to get a little down and dirty. Rodman was the perfect banger. He mastered every trick of the trade in order to know how to position himself for the rebound. He vanquished countless men who were bigger, stronger, and heavier than him. And he couldn't have done it without using his elbows, fingernails, teeth, hair, flatulence, and literally everything, anything else he could get his hands on. Nothing was off bounds when Dennis Rodman was on the floor. Let's talk about Kevin Garnett. No one has taken trash language to the degree that Garnett has. Do you believe you're tough? Do you think you have thick skin? A few minutes with Garnett on the court and you'll leave the place bawling your eyes out. Kev just has a way of getting into your head. He really is the NBA's Hannibal Lecter. Now, it'd be one thing if it stopped with the mind games, but it doesn't. He also has a variety of other tricks up his sleeve, from the relatively clean blocking shots after the whistle to stuff like slapping guys in their man parts as they go up for jump shots. Garnett takes dirty to a level that most people don't even think is possible. Last, but definitely not least, Bruce Bowen. Bruce Bowen was well known for sticking his foot under a player as he went up for a jump shot. At that point, it's not even playing dirty, it's just trying to hurt your opponent, or possibly even worse. Apart from his filthy tactics, Bowen was an excellent defender for the Spurs. But there's a clear line difference between playing dirty and getting outright malicious, and Bruce unfortunately crossed that line very often. Threatening someone's life and career simply isn't acceptable. Well, that's a wrap for this video. So do you think Devin Booker's reaction was justified, especially given the fact that he's done the same thing? Who do you think is the dirtiest player in the NBA? Let us know in the comments below. Also, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this, and we'll see you in the next one.